Hi guys, it's Mrs. B and I am here with your kindergarten art lesson for this week. So, you guys know Mrs. B loves Pete the Cat. We read Pete the Cat, I Love My White Shoes at school in art all the time. And I really enjoy um, all the Pete the Cat books. Well, I found out something pretty cool. Pete the Cat has a website where they have most of his books as fun video read-alouds. So, today we are going to do something that we've been practicing in art class. The last project we did in the art room together was a self-portrait. You might remember when we did a self-portrait at Goodwin, we sang head, shoulders, knees, and toes to get our bodies warmed up and to remember all the body parts we needed to include. So before you do your portrait today, you might want to sing some head, shoulders, knees, and toes to get yourself ready to make a self-portrait. And we know a self-portrait is a picture of yourself. A few weeks ago, you guys did amazing portraits of people in your family. So those are portraits. This is a self-portrait. But we're not just going to do a regular self-portrait. I am giving you a link to hear the story of Pete the Cat and his magic sunglasses here on Pete TV. So you are going to start by watching this. Pete, Pete the, the cat, cat did not feel happy with his magic sunglasses. Had... So after you've heard that story, you're going to make your own magic sunglasses self-portrait. I don't know about you guys, but my kids and I, I have a third grader and a fifth grader in Old Saybrook. We are tired of being stuck at home. And we're really tired of the gloomy weather and the chilly weather. So sometimes we get a little grumpy. And in Pete the Cat's story, he gets grumpy. And Pete's usually really cheerful, right? So he gets some magic sunglasses that help him not feel grumpy. And I wish that my whole family could get some magic sunglasses to keep us from getting grouchy. So you're going to draw your head, your neck, your body. Remember the rectangle shape? Rectangles for your arms. Rectangles for your legs. And then you're going to add your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. But you're not going to make regular eyes. You're going to make yourself wearing special sunglasses. Now your sunglasses can be half circles, like this. You could make circle-shaped sunglasses where your eyes would be. When I was in kindergarten, I had heart-shaped sunglasses. You could be wearing some heart sunglasses if you want. You could be wearing star sunglasses and look like a movie star. You can make your sunglasses however you want. I did the half circle. So you're going to draw yourself, but you're going to give yourself magic sunglasses. And then when you're finished drawing, you're going to paint your self portrait however you want, or you can color it with crayons, or you can color it with markers. It's up to you. You can use whatever materials you have at your house. So your job is to do a sunglasses self-portrait, including your head, shoulders, knees, toes, and special sunglasses, just like Pete has in our story for the week. So I hope you guys have a wonderful um, time doing your art project this week. And I would love to see your work. If you have time and if your family is able to do so, you can either take a picture of it and click Mark as Done on your Google Classroom and upload your photo there. Or you can email Mrs. B a photo, or you can just tell me about it in your comment. You can write, I made myself wearing heart-shaped sunglasses, or tell me what you thought of Pete's story. And if you don't have time to do it, any artwork you do at home is wonderful, and I'm always happy to hear about any art projects at all that you're working on at home. That's all I have for this week. I'm going to go look through my closet and see if I can find some magic sunglasses for myself and maybe my kids. And we're going to try to get outside, even though it's very chilly today. I hope you have fun with your art. Miss you guys very much. Bye for now.